most computers it takes a lot less on this one but this is stupidly expensive got me into masses of debt fast computer um, so there's our there's our island and you can see that now the height map is it's been nicely flattened out for this road um, so that gives us a kind of a visual of what we're looking at um, maybe a good starting point is to go in here we'll pick a texture file we click on edit and then I've got plenty of textures in here but just a sort of a, a basic a basic example, we're going to use this leafy grass texture and then um, I'm going to cover the map in this <coughs> excuse me, I smoke too much and now that's done, uh, we'll save it so, I was just about to say save often because Ed42 can be a piece of shit. Um, I'll try it again. It doesn't actually crash too often. Um, I think that might be a bit of a Windows 7 thing because I've had a couple of crashes like that recently. Okay, and then let's save it. Okay, and um, and now we're going to stick with the texture tool. We're going to use the road tool in a sec. We want to change from this leafy grass texture to just a road texture. So I'm going to use this Rally Road. It's 64 by 64 pixels. This is a good size um, when we're using the road tool. You can download these kind of road textures on Turbo Squid or loads of different places, or you can just make your own. Some of these, um, some of these I've made. Some of these are like original uh, interstate road textures, and then this one, you know, I've added like a snow border and stuff like that. This is some crazy Roman road thing I never used, but yeah, you can you can play around with those. So we'll load up Rally Road. We click OK. We press R, and we go into Road Tool. Which is obviously very useful for texturing. We'll make it a bit bigger. I'll just put down a little bit of texture to see how it's looking. Okay. Um, and now it's quite useful to zoom out a bit. But uh, I'm going to do this quite quick. You know, normally I'd take some more time over this, but we just go round our road. Sometimes it's not so clear where it is. It depends if there's a nice kind of... There you go, I'm lost already. Oh, maybe that's the start, isn't it? Um, yeah, that was the end. So, we'll just start texturing. So yeah, when doing this, you can hold shift which will give you much slower movement. I mean, this is quite a small island on a on a large on a large map. You need to get ready to sit here for maybe even thirty minutes just doing this constantly. Um, but it's worth it. The end results are good. And for those, you know, if you've tried to make decent roads in. Battlecraft or just sort of generally in Ed42, 1942 mapping, it takes a long time. It's a lot of smoothing and adjusting and tweaking of the height map. Um, yeah, so Crisis just takes all of that effort. It's the only thing I use Crisis for. Um, there we go. And then we can zoom down here. I'm pressing Q by the way, I mean, I'm sure you know this, if you don't know Q will zoom to wherever the mouse pointer is, so it's a nice fast way of moving around. Um, yeah, and then now if you look, whatever's happened to the terrain, uh, it's all nice and level. I don't know how long 
that's taken, but it's only taken a few minutes. Um, from scratch. And we've got already a kind of roadmap which looks 10 times better than most of the shit out there. Um, so we'll save this. And for now, I think we're done. And you can continue making your map. You can texture it. I mean, one of the really nice things at this point is that um, so long as you haven't, it doesn't really matter, but so long as you haven't made any more adjustments to the height map in, in Ed42 yet, you can, you can be texturing and then you can think, well, actually, you know, I want, for whatever reason, I want a road to cut from here across to here. Um, and you can go back in the Crisis Editor. Incidentally, Crisis Editor, Crisis obviously, you know, you need a nice PC to run Crisis, but actually the editor, just for this purpose, you can get away with, um, yeah, you can get away with a, a much lower spec system. So we'll open this up. And, um, ooh, I'll try and find where I was. I don't know where it was. Maybe it was here. And then we can go back in to here. We can go back to the road tool. Crisis doesn't remember the settings you put in last time. So we need to change this back to six. And then we'll click here. And here. And here. And I should have double clicked. Double click to end. Um, and I want this road to kind of just cut straight through the mountain. So we click off, we click back on, we click on edit, click on Z axis. Um, and I forget how we, yeah, so wireframe is F3. Now it all goes a bit crazy. When you start moving things, you get all of this kind of crap, but you can, keep pressing F3 um, and it will show you where things are. So we'll click on align height map. I'm not sure why it's done that, but don't worry about that. Um, and there you go. You can see that now we've got this road which cuts through here as well. Um, we'll click on file save. And then we'll go terrain, edit terrain, file, export, height map, 16-bit um, raw, height map, yes, okay, Ed42, open our map, and now, wherever it was, Where was it? Oh, it's over here. Yeah, so now we've got this additional road through here. So we go back in, texture, edit, find our road. Okay, go back into the road tool. And just draw that through. So again, you know, I've done this very quick, but you can see how cool this is for making a quick, a quick road through there. And then we'll save. And um, and I think that's it for now. Uh, the next thing I'm going to try and demonstrate is how to use 3D Max to actually make fences and walls alongside the road. Um, you know, which again will stick to the terrain uh, and give you some really nice kind of finished effects on on fencing or whatever. Because uh, again, I mean, everyone will know you placing the the EU fences around a map can take a long, long time. It's a real it's a real pig. So that's it for now. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it.